cool for you guys to ask me questions and I answer them in this video every single Sunday. Every single Sunday. Every single Sunday. Every single, every single, every single Sunday. And Luna is very dirty today. I don't even know if I want her on me because if you look at her right now, I don't know what happened, but I woke up and it looks like Kaz peed on her. There is literally piss. Is this piss? But anyways, let's get started with the Q&A. First question is from Jessica. What type of music do you listen to? I listen to all kinds of music. Every single genre except country. Country is probably the only genre that I have never listened to anything, never liked anything. I mostly listen to metal like Avenged Sevenfold, Ramstein, Slipknot, really a little bit of everything. I'm not too crazy about stuff like Drake, future, whatever you guys listen to. I still listen to the same music that I listened to like 10, 15 years ago when I was a kid. All the anime music, game music, I still listen to that. Like if you look on my phone right now, it is legit all Hackside, Full Metal Alchemist, Contra, zombie songs. That's the kind of stuff I like listening to. I like I'll be driving in my car listening to some Sonic music. I don't care. My sub box is huge. Do you drink water? No, I drink piss. I drink water. Easy Diola asks, does skill-based matchmaking ruin video games? You're asking somebody who likes to pick on noobs. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do do good against good players, but I do like playing against noobs. But when skill-based matchmaking is in place, it is gonna put me, a solo player, going against a clan of tryhards, and that sucks, because sometimes I wanna play noobs. Sometimes I do like playing tryhards, but sometimes I wanna play noobs. So yes, I don't like skill-based matchmaking. I just wish it was just random altogether. Like if you're new on a game and you're just getting on, skill-based matchmaking is good because you are a noob and you are gonna get destroyed if you get put against good players. So you wanna get put against other noobs. So then you'll have a chance and there'll be more of a chance that you'll like the game and play it more. Joseph Lister asked, is there a cosplay you wanna pull off but feel like you can't pull it off? Okay, so there isn't really a cosplay that I feel like I can't pull off. I don't mean that in a conceited way, it's just like the only ones I can't really pull off are like the ones with super huge boobs that defy gravity and physics and they'll literally have a piece of cloth placed on the nipples and I, I can't do that stuff. I mean, if there's a character I really, really wanna do, I would do it. Actually, there's a lot of characters I can't do now that I think about it. I wanna do a Destiny cosplay really bad, but that is really, really hard, at least for my skill level because my skill level is that noob cosplayer, which is like down here. Actually, I'm probably below noob cosplay because there are noob cosplayers that cosplay better than me. So yeah, if I had to do one, I would want to do a Warlock from Destiny. Or Cosmos from Xenosaga, that would be pretty cool too. She's bae. Next question is from Nathan. Are you supporting Hillary or Trump? I don't support either one of them. I'm not good at politics or anything. But obviously I don't want Trump. I don't really know anything about Hillary besides the fact that she's a woman. And she has boobies! So we have something in common. Vote Bernie. Everybody likes Bernie. I like the Bernie memes. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna vote for him because they like the Bernie memes. Houdini asks, live in a world like Sword Art Online or have the ability to devastate anything with one punch like One Punch Man. Okay, I definitely don't wanna live in the world of Sword Art Online because <laughs> I would be dead and I'm scared of dying in a game. I mean the concept is pretty cool like Oh, you're stuck in a game until you beat it or else you're gonna die But it's not cool in real life and I don't want to be put in that situation So I'm gonna be like Saitama and be one punch one kill and hit that leg button in the face And then I'll kill all the leg buttons in the world because one punch one kill. Etra asked if your brother crashed your car again What would you do? P.S. I love you. P.S. I love you too. And my brother I let him drive my rental Camaro for literally two minutes before he crashed it. So I'm definitely not gonna let him drive my car again. And if he does drive it again and he crashes, <laughs> well, I'm fucked because he doesn't have any money and he can't pay it off, so. That'll be my fault for letting him drive it. Drifter asked, what do you think will be the ultimate fate of the universe? Heat death or the big crunch? I don't know what either one of those are. Big crunch sounds like something comes down, like takes a bite of the earth and we're all dead. But I'm just really, really hungry. So of course I'm thinking about crunchy foods, chips, fried chicken. <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. That'll be the fate of the world. We'll die of hunger. Actually, I don't know. You don't know either. Nobody knows. Next question is from the Dark Zini. Favorite pair of shoes. These are my favorite shoes. I wear these in a lot of my videos and all the time, and I've been wearing these for like two, three years now. Look at my shoes. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. They're cute, flippy floppies. Bubatron asks, Have you ever been in a near death situation? Games? Yes, a lot. All the time. Every day. Multiple times a day. But in real life. 
I don't think so. I think your car almost crashed me in the parking lot once, but it was still like, it wasn't like this close or anything. It was a couple feet away. Oh, you know when it's like a one-way road on the highway on the way to Vegas? It's like one way going north and one way coming south. So, sometimes when there's a car in front of you and you wanna get ahead of them, so you go on the other lane, which is cars going this way down. So if you guys crash, it's like, whoosh, and you guys are dead. And I did that, I got impatient, so I tried to go on the other lane and pass the guy in front of me. And then that's when the guy I was trying to pass started to speed up. So I wouldn't pass him and I would be stuck and be forced to crash the car that was coming towards me. But luckily we both ended up breaking in the middle of the street and it was embarrassing and I didn't get the pass. And I was so mad at that guy because he just decided to speed up to screw me over. Also, a truck driver almost hit me. Like, some truck drivers are complete assholes. Like, they will merge in front of you just to piss you off. One started merging while I was coming up right next to him, and he almost hit me like this close. If I didn't speed up, I would have been like done. Like, he did not care. Next question is from Painful Melody. Can I have a hug? Yes, all of you guys can have hugs, virtual hugs for you all. Ugh. Come here. Come here, give me hugs. Give me hugs, I love hugs. Oh, that was a nice hug. Next question is from Mauricio. How do you make it through finals without any sleep? So my finals weren't that bad. I know some people's finals are really bad because it's like five finals in one week, but mine weren't like that. It was like a final a week, a final a week, maybe two finals in one week at most, but otherwise it wasn't that bad, so I didn't really lose sleep on it. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even really study for my finals. I don't know how people could spend hours or days studying me. I will look over something in a day and get everything. This one is covered in piss! Ew! It's Bacon asked, if you had to be locked in a room with a creature for a day, ah, what would it be? Didn't really specify what kind of creature, so if I could be locked in a room all day, I would be with this creature, because technically this is a creature, even though she's covered in piss and little and stupid and fluffy. Has asked, what is the best memories when you were a kid? A lot of my best memories were after school or at like school events. I would bring my suitcase of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I had like a plastic suitcase because I wanted to be like Kaiba. I put all my cards in it. And we'd have like school events where all the kids come and bring their cards and then we would trade them because we weren't allowed to bring them during school. Pretty much all my childhood memories were video games, like Kingdom Hearts, Contra, Metal Gear. Just, I grew up playing them, and that's really all I could think of when you asked me about my childhood. Because I didn't really have that much friends in school, and my friends weren't like friends' friends, and they were assholes, and I hated them, and they hated me. Dude, hold mask, what is the worst you have done on a test? P.S. I love you. P.S. I love you too, and the worst I've done is probably, I probably got a C- minus on a math test. I suck at math, and I would rely on the whole Homework to get me a good grade because I would suck at the tests, but I would do all my homework to even out the grade. I know a lot of people are the opposite, it's like they'll do good on tests, but they won't do their homework. But me, I did my homework. Homework was easy. Jay asked, What do you think about people hating COD because of it being too repetitive? And what is your opinion? The problem is, it's not really too repetitive, at least with Infinite Warfare. A lot of people wanted a World War COD, and I feel like they're not listening. But hey, that's why they're remaking COD 4, so you get your future Infinite Warfare and you get COD 4. So it works both ways. For people who do like the futuristic stuff, I feel like a lot of casual players, people that play the game whenever they get home from work or whatever, they like, like the cool futuristic stuff. And all the hardcore fans like the old stuff, especially since we haven't had it in a while. Personally, I don't mind both. I want a fun game. Fred Castle asked, how much do you and Sausage weigh together? Well, Sausage weighed himself today. He weighs 250 and I weigh 114. He is over double my weight. Together, we we weigh 365, four, 364. Hey, that's like days in a year. Charlotte asked, how did you get hardly any acne or does clear skin just run through your parents? I have gotten a lot of acne and people bully me because of it. Please help. By the way, I love you. By the way, I love you too. And I haven't always had clear skin. I do get acne every once in a while. I get like a pimple or a couple of pimples, but the thing I really struggle with is blackheads. Like I have blackheads all over my nose and I have to exfoliate that shit like every other day. And this has been a problem since I was like in middle school. Middle school, I had pretty bad acne. Like I had it all over my cheeks. I would get like several pimples at a time, they'd be on my cheeks, and then I would pop them and it'd make it worse. But long term, and it really, really depends how you do it, so please, before you call me out on this, before you say, no, that's wrong, no, you shouldn't do that, you're preaching us something completely, entirely different than what you're supposed to do. But I feel like I fixed my acne by popping my pimples. Because it's like, I'll have one big pimple, and you know it's really nasty, and it looks like you could pop it because you could see the pus out of it, excuse my language. Like, I had to squeeze it, I don't know how people keep that on their face, 
and let it on their face. Like I'd squeeze it, just dry it off, and it would be done. It would be gone the next day because you are getting the jizz out of your pimple. But right now, I do take really good care of my skin. Like I wash my face every day, I get facials every month. Not those facials, freaking pervs. But like basically, they exfoliate and squeeze everything in my face and let it all out. When I was in middle school, I did used to have acne, and people did make fun of me for it. And I remember my friend had worse acne than me, but she was really pretty, and people still made fun of her. Haters gonna hate. I've been. Ag yeah, yeah, I've asked, how are you brown? Looks white to me. So a lot of people were telling me this in my last video because I was like, I was the brown kid in my school, which I was because I went to an all white school. I'm Greek and Turkish, but people say it's like Middle Eastern or you're white. I don't know. I don't call myself one specific thing. But when I was growing up in elementary school, people used to make fun of me, call me a terrorist and everything. I actually got in trouble at school because somebody called me a terrorist and then I said I was gonna kill him and then I got into more trouble. When this guy was being racist, mysterious panda game Gaming ass, does anyone else skip the every single Sunday dance crap? It got annoying. It's not annoying, it's fun. Every single Sunday, every single Sunday, and the sun went down as soon as I did that. If you guys see the lighting keep changing, it's because it's a cloudy day and it keeps getting sunny and then dark and then sunny and dark, and I don't know what to do. Michael Sedeker asked, Why aren't you more into PC games? I grew up playing console games, that's why I love console games so much. That's why I love PlayStation because ever since I was six years old, I had a PlayStation 1, and then throughout my life, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, now PlayStation 4. Plus I'm kind of at a disadvantage because I hate keyboard and mouse because I, I just can't. Keyboard and nails just do not go together. Next question is from Fusion. Would you rather kill somebody and no one suspects it or not kill anybody but everybody thinks you do? Well obviously not kill anybody and, and everybody thinks I did. I mean I'm used to that. I'm used to people accusing me for stuff that I've never done. But oh! As a sniper will have killed somebody. I can't do anything about it. People are always gonna talk, talk, talk. Especially when you're a YouTuber putting your life out on the internet. Best thing I could do is stay true to myself. Like, I know the truth. These people don't. It's okay. I'm good. Kevin Barr asks, does your mom call Evan sausage? No, she calls him Evan. T-Man Studios asks, why are you so awesome? Because I am as a sniper wolf, and I have a dog. And my dog's cute, but she's covered in piss. Covered in piss. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not that awesome. You guys make me awesome. Crash Abderham Man asks, on a scale of one to 10, how much does sausages fart stink? On a scale of one to 10, it's probably 10. He doesn't have any silent but deadly farts. All his farts, they have a sound and they are deadly and they smell 10 out of 10 in a bad way. Not in a good way. <laughs> like, I can't even. Kobe asks, can you do a Black Ops 3 1v1 with Ali A? Hey, that sounds pretty fun. We should. <laughs> hey, didn't I challenge Ali A another time? I think I did, but it never happened. Maybe it will happen one of these days. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the